How to get students to follow instructions in your classroom every time. As a teacher, have you ever had the situation where you tell a student to get on with their work and you find 20 minutes later that they haven't done a thing? You tell them to get on with their work, get on with your work, and you come back to them later in the lesson and they've done nothing. I'm sure that resonates with you. Most teachers face this very frustrating problem at one time or another. And in this video, I'd like to give you an easy way to prevent it happening ever again. It's a very simple three-step fix that you can use in your next lesson to make sure that your students follow your instructions every time. First, let's look at why this happens. When a teacher gives a simple instruction, such as get on with your work, they unwittingly give the student two very effective excuses. Excuses which the student can use again and again. Those two excuses are either, I didn't hear you, or I didn't understand what you asked me to do. And the reason these excuses are so effective is that the teacher can't prove them wrong. If the student says, I didn't hear you, the teacher can't prove that they didn't hear. So the excuse works. If they say, I didn't understand what you asked me to do, the teacher can't prove that they didn't understand. So again, the excuse works. Every time the teacher gives the instruction like, get on with your work, the student has two pretty good excuses for wasting 25 minutes or getting out of doing any work at all, any time they want. So here's how you can put an instant end to this. By giving a specific instruction. So instead of get on with your work, I'm going to say, Johnny, in the next 15 minutes, you need to complete questions one to eight on page 35. Now that's pretty specific, but Johnny still might sit and do nothing, claiming I didn't understand the questions or I didn't hear you. So first of all, we check for skills. Johnny, before I let you get on with this, just tell me how you would do question one. Once Johnny has showed me that he has the skills to do question one, I've eliminated one of the excuses. He can no longer say that he didn't understand what I asked him to do. Then I ask him to repeat the instruction. That's great, Johnny. Now, just so we're both clear, can you just tell me what I asked you to do, please? Uh, sir, you said complete these questions one to eight on page 35 in the next 15 minutes. Great stuff. Thanks, Johnny. Now, Johnny can no longer say that he didn't hear me. So those two excuses have been completely eliminated. Fewer arguments, less work avoidance, and a happier, more productive classroom. All by making a few very simple changes to our instructions and the way we communicate with our students. This is just one of thousands of novel creative ways to win the hearts of tough students and improve classroom management. Contained in the best-selling book, Take Control of the Noisy Class. It's available on Amazon right now.